Okay, we're joined by uh, Coach Kearns. Thank you uh, for everyone participating today. We will uh, begin with an opening statement from Coach Kearns and then go to questions. Please use the raise uh, hand function to indicate that you would like to ask a question. When you are called on for your question, please state your name and affiliation first. Uh, Coach, please give us a brief opening statement and then we'll go to questions. Yeah, I want to first of all congratulate Norfolk State and uh, Coach Jones on a, on a on a great win, and um, you know, uh, you know, on our end a very, you know, tough, heartbreaking loss. And so I, um, I, uh, I wish them well in the tournament, and um, uh, but I'm certainly proud of how our team, you know, fought back, and and uh, certainly that's March Madness. It's March Madness. It's uh, there's 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 heartbreak. There's buzzer beaters. There's uh, that that that's it right there, and that's why everybody loves it. And um, you know, just what a uh, what a great moment for our country that you know March Madness and NCAA tournaments back, and uh, it was honored to be a part of the the first four tonight. Okay, thank you, Coach. Uh, we'll now go to questions from the media. Again, uh, please use the raise hand function to indicate that you'd like to ask a question. Our first question will come from David Ware with 24-7 Sports. David, go ahead. Dustin, um, tough loss. Can you take us through that last play? What did you What did you design there, and did it Did it go off the way you had hoped it would? Um, and if not, what kind of you know broke it? Yeah, no, it was uh, it was designed for a back cut for Forrest. We were trying to post up Donovan Gregory. We were lifting everybody up. And uh, we wanted to, 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 to sprint up Justin Forrest and then back cut right to the basket and empty it out. And uh, they made the entry, you know, very difficult. Um, and uh, it just became a broken play. And I, you know, certainly thought Omanese's three was down. And then we got another look at it. But uh, that was the, the, what we were designed for is to get Forrest to lay up at the rent all, off of a back cut. And in terms of um, in terms of the first half, you know, uh, it, it wasn't like you were not getting good looks at the basket. I mean, were they doing anything defensively to disrupt you, or were the shots just not falling? I think it was a little bit of both. I think that they were being very aggressive. They had us back on our heels, um, and then you know, I think that uh, our guys just you know nerves, uh, first time, bright lights, and and uh, just took us a while to settle down, and then. And we kept missing and missing, and then the pressure and pressure kept uh, kept mounting there. And so uh, once we settled down and uh, we got back into it and obviously took the lead, but um, uh, just we spent a lot of energy coming back uh, in the game. Thanks, Dustin. Thanks, David. Okay, our next question is going to come from Ethan Joyce with the Winston-Salem Journal. Winston, uh, Ethan, go ahead. Hey, Dustin. Um, you know, I, I guess just kind of, what do you say into the team when you're kind of going through that that stretch where the shots aren't falling like you said? And I, and I wonder, like, was was there a concern that maybe this happens when you guys play so hot in the in the Sun Belt tournament, and then you you do have to face a layoff like like you guys faced between this game and and that set of games? Well, I just told them to trust our reps. I told them that the shots will fall. Uh, just to relax and be confident, and the, and the shots will fall. And I think at halftime, our guys did settle down a little bit. Um, and then, you know, you know, I, I think a little bit was the way we did shoot it. They were they were aggressive with us. I mean, they they were, um, you know, certainly defending the three well in the, in the first half. We had some open looks, but just couldn't get one to fall. Um, and so then they just became more and more more and more pressure shots. But in the second half, I thought we settled down and uh, you know certainly gave ourselves an opportunity to win the game. And Jalen Hawkins comes off the bench for them um, and really just kind of takes off from the moment he gets on the court. You know, I guess what were you guys expecting from him? Did he did he catch the team off guard? With, no. Which was no. Able to take off? Okay. no, we were expecting him. Uh, he was a guy we were very uh, focused on. He just got hot, you know, and some of his points were off of our turnovers. And so it wasn't, you know, it was, um, you know, we had 14, I think, four, 10 turnovers in the first half. And so... Um, you know, they had 14 points off our turnovers, so that, that was a little bit of it. Um, but, you know, no, we, were, we were very, very prepared for him. We, we, we thought, um, you know, he was certainly capable of that. But 
you know, a lot of it was transition and and, um, and and points off turnovers, and then you know he just got hot. There we left him, we we lost him one time in transition and uh, on a, on a second three, and you know, but he was he was feeling it, and uh, certainly no, we were we were very prepared for him. Thanks, Dustin. Okay, our next uh, question is going to come from uh, Luke DeCock from the News and Observer. Hey, Dustin, I'm just curious. You had a couple guys at the end there who were down on the floor for a while. Obviously, the emotion of the situation. But what, what do you say to a player in a situation like that to kind of get them up and get them back to the locker room? And, and what what do you say to your team in a situation like this after the, the run you guys have had? Yeah, I just told our team, um, uh, don't be sad it's over. Be glad it happened. Um, you know, we've got a lot to be proud of. Uh, first of all, I'm proud of how our guys represent our university and our community and their families. Um, but, you know, we, we're, we're hanging the first Sun Belt banner in, in, in our arena. And there's a lot of banners up there. And, and so, um, you know, this team has a lot to be celebrated for. But um, it, there's emotions, right? This is emotional. And when it comes to a screeching halt there abruptly, especially uh, with an opportunity to win it, uh, that's, that's difficult. That's difficult. But I just told them that, you know, uh, at some point uh, when we get through it, instead of being sad, be glad it happened. Thank you. Okay, our next question is going to be from Carter Hill with the fifth quarter. Carter, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Um, obviously, today didn't go your way, but with the way you guys came back in the second half, what do you think you showed the country about Appalachian State basketball? Yeah, I think that we're fighters. You know, fighters. We came down from 22 a couple of weeks ago and won. You know, and certainly we came back uh, tonight, and uh, that, 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 that we're never out of it. You know, and we're going to fight, and we're going to be at 40 minutes, and whether we're up or down, and 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 so you know, certainly I'm proud of our guys' fight and togetherness, and and and, and how connected they are, and because you have to be that way. You know, when you get down, uh, which is which is which is basketball, right? Um, you have to have a connected group. You have to have high character to be able to come back. Um, and so I, you know, I certainly think that uh, our program's got a lot of character and a lot of fight. Thank you. Okay, our next question is going to be from uh, Silas Albright from the Appalachian. Go ahead. Okay, hey Dustin. Um, yeah, so obviously, just um, uh, Justin Forrest and Michael Almanesi are two two guys, only two guys that play meaning, meaning played meaningful minutes that'll be leaving this year. Um, obviously, a bunch of guys on the team will be returning. Got a really great experience this year with coming to this tournament, and they're going to be in the program for a while. Just um, what can you say about what that'll give them going forward and just the future of the program? Yeah, I mean, I think that I'm not really haven't had a chance to think about next year much, but. Um, I think that um, th this this will give our our program a huge boost um, in the community on campus with our students. Uh, it'll, it should carry a momentum with a lot of excitement into next season. Um, and then we've got a lot of guys with experience going through this and winning the Sun Belt and uh, playing in this tournament. And so, you know, certainly experience is the best teacher. And uh, you know, certainly we we have a lot of guys in that locker room that got experience playing in this tournament. And then uh, other question for me, just in probably Justin Forrest's or yeah, Justin Forrest's last game here. He's had quite a career. Kind of take over there in the second half. Hit those, I think, two or three straight threes. But I really, really get y'all back into it. Give you all the lead. I'm just how happy were you, for were you to see him do that on this big stage? Yeah, I mean, I, I knew he was capable. You know, he got in foul trouble. We had to set him down and calm him down a little bit. But he got in foul trouble. He played with three fouls, and certainly we did that. And um, you know. He he's got a lot to be celebrated about, you know. He he's he's had an incredible career here. Uh, he set a lot of um, you know records, and and, he, and, he, and then, but most importantly, you know, he got App State to the NCAA tournament, and and so I think that's he's going to be remembered for a lot, but he'll be remembered for getting the App State to the NCAA tournament and and really changing the course of the program. You know, his junior and senior year, we had. Uh, uh, we stopped an eight-year losing streak, and then we went on and went to the NCAA tournament. That's what he'll be remembered for, and that's that's pretty special for him. Um, and certainly, um, you know, we're very very proud of him and uh, and all he's accomplished. 
Okay, we have time for a couple more. Uh, David Ware, do you have a follow-up question? Yes, I do, thanks. Um, Dustin, you mentioned that you really haven't thought about next year, you know, uh, specifically. Um, but what's important to carry forward the momentum from this season through the off season, through recruiting, you know, kind of kind of taking the program forward. You know, you're always remembered for how you finished, and you guys finished a, a, with a great run at the end of the season. How do you build on that and then make that sustainable going forward? Yeah, I think that our players now have got it. They, they, now they they've gotten a taste of this. They, they've they've won a Sun Belt championship, so now they know, you know, really what goes all into it, and and and, and taking that you know, to another level, um, you know, we necessarily can't uh, take the same route that we took up the stairwell. we got to take a different uh, route, you know, but we've got to be committed to the same habits um, and standards that we're about. And the new guys that enter our program, our older guys, uh, pulling them aside and say, hey, this is what it takes. Uh, this is what it's all about, and this is the standard we're going to hold you to. And, and then I think that's going to be, a you know, uh, big for us is, um, you know, having that uh, that locker room, um, you know, uh, rise uh, to our standards even more, and 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 um, hold each other to that. You know, and, and instead of you know, for us as coaches, we've been coming in and saying, hey, here's what you got to do, here's what you got to do to win, and and I think now our players can start doing that. And, and when that starts happening, uh, then you really start building a program. Uh, when, when players start really coaching players and hold each other accountable instead of always being the coaches. But we were new. We came in second year. Here's what it takes. Here's what it takes. Here's what it takes. Now I think they believe that. And so now it's, uh, it, we need some help doing that. And if, if we can get guys in that locker room really, you know, taking more ownership and, 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 and um, and taking that sort of stuff to another level, uh, that, that'll go a long way. Okay, thank you very much, Coach, for uh, your time today. Congratulations on your season. Thank you. We will be, we will be joined uh, momentarily by uh, Justin Forrest. And again, for the media, please take time now to uh, raise or lower your hand as necessary. Thanks a lot. Go Mountaineers, Thanks. take the stairs. Thanks, Coach. Again, for the media on the call, uh, please uh, uh, be sure in your settings that you are identified by your name and your affiliation. And uh, please use this time to raise or lower your hand uh, as necessary for questions for Justin Forrest, who will join us momentarily.
like that up arrow. And for anyone who's just joining us, uh, we're uh, anticipating that Justin Forrest will be joining us uh, here shortly. Um, please uh, use this time to uh, raise your hand if you have a question that you'd like to ask uh, Justin. Okay, we're now joined by uh, Justin Forrest, who scored a team high 18 points for uh, App State. Uh, again, for the media, please use the raise hand function to indicate that you would like to ask a question. Uh, when you're called on for your question, please state your name and your affiliation first. And we'll begin our questions with uh, David Ware from 24 seven sports, David. Justin, you know, when you guys go into the locker room at halftime, you've had a, a you know, a tough run of shooting. Um, you know, you come back out the second half and it was clear that you were, if you were going to go down, you were going to go down fire. And, you know, when you came out of the locker room at halftime, talk a little bit about your mentality and what you were trying to do, not just individually, but to help lift your teammates up. Um, we just try to do our best to um, motivate each other. Uh, we know we didn't have the best first half, <clears throat> and um, it's tough when we come out and, and you know miss shots that we normally make in a game like this that you really want to win. 
Um, but, you know, we just, we knew we were never out of it. You know, we're, we're never out of it to the Blast Buzzer sound. So uh, we just came out motivating each other, um, lifting each other up, and, and just continuing to talk to each other the whole half. I've watched you play a lot of basketball over the years here. And, um, you know, there are those times when you get in a zone and you're knocking down shots. And you kind of did that tonight. You know, you had a couple threes. You got to drive to the rim. Uh, you know, and you push the team back and back in front. When you when you kind of get that feeling like, yeah, I, I'm I'm really ready to go here. How do you how do you kind of balance staying within the flow of the offense, but then also being ready to pull the trigger when you get the chance? Um, we just listen to whatever coach calls. You know, he he's a great coach. Um, he knows what he's doing. Um, he calls plays for whoever's you know the right plays at the right times. Um, just try to stay within the team. Um, just keep listening to my teammates and, you know, I, I trust them and they trust me. And, you know, whoever's open, we just hit them and let them knock down the open shot. Last question for me. You've always been, um, really have come up big in postseason games. I think you're maybe nine games now. You're averaging about 20 points a game. And I know it's not about the numbers, but you know, you, you've always stepped forward uh, when you've had these chances to play in the postseason. You know, what is it about those particular games that have motivated you to be such a consistent performer? Um, I just try to do what I can to help my team win. Um, they play hard for me. I just try to play hard for them. Um, they have my back. I have their back. And, uh, you know, these, these are big games that we, we want to win and we wish we could win. But um, we just wish the outcome was different. So, I, as I said earlier, they trust me and I trust them. And we just go out there and play the game together. Our next question will be from uh, Ethan Joyce from the Winston-Salem Journal. Hey, Justin. I, I'm just curious, is the, the emotions after this game specifically, is it is it kind of complex to really think about right now just because I know it's a loss, it's, it's not what you want, but you also do a lot of good there to really push back and make it a serious game again. You know, what's how does it feel walking away from this one with, with all that it's been? Um, it's tough. Man, we, we we wish we could have this one back for sure. Um, a lot of plays that we wish back we can have for sure. Um, it's 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 just tough, man. We're, I mean, yeah, we're proud to get here, but we we know we belong. Um, we just wish the outcome was different, and it's just it's just a tough pill to swallow. When do you think you're comfortable, kind of considering what you've accomplished, whether that's going to continue with with the extra year the NCAA gives you or not? Um, you know, I guess when do you really kind of let yourself think about what you've achieved at App State? Um, I, I, I'm not really sure. It, it'll, it'll, it'll take a minute to get over this one. You know, we, 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 we just wish we could have this back, man. I mean, I, I, I don't know which other way to put it. Um, I mean, yeah, we all feel like we, we did what we were supposed to do this year. We accomplished a lot, but yeah, we, we just wish we could have kept making history, but. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure. It'll, it'll, it'll come sooner than later, probably. But um, we just wish we could have this one back. Thanks, Justin. Okay, our next question will come from uh, Carter Hill with the uh, fifth quarter. Hey, Justin. You know, obviously tonight didn't go the way you wanted to, and I asked Coach this as well. But you kind of hit on it earlier. But the way you guys kind of came back in the second half, what do you think that showed the country about? Appalachian State basketball that may not have known a lot about you all this year? Um, I mean, we showed that all year. You know, it's, it's, it's been a couple of times where we came out flat in the first half um, and, and tried to pick it up in the second half, but we just – we dug a hole, and it was just kind of tough to get out of that hole in the second half. You know, we, we got out of it, but, you know, they persevered, and, you know, we just – we just came up short. Thank you. Okay, do we have any additional questions for uh, Justin? Please raise your hand. Uh, okay, Silas Albright from the Appalachian. Uh, yeah, Justin, I just wanted to kind of ask about, like, you know, obviously both schools here are mid-majors, but App State has been one. And just kind of going through the adversity of just kind of always being an underdog, I don't know, just what, just what can you say about 
your mindset and out, outlook as an upstate basketball player and like just what are, what are y'all were able to accomplish this year? Um, as you said, you know, we're always the underdog being a mid-major. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't really, a lot of people don't really respect us, but I mean, I mean, I love this team. Um, I love what we were able to accomplish this year. Um, I love playing with these guys. I love playing for these coaches. They, from top to bottom, man, it's just, I just feel like we did something that we'll never forget, but we wish we could have done more. And it's just, it's sad that it has to end like this, but, you know, coach told us that, you know, don't be upset. Well, you could be upset now, but, you know, at the end of the day, just be glad that it happened. We got to experience something like this. And um, we're just going to do what we got to do. Thank you, and congrats on a great year. Thank you. Okay, I don't see any additional questions. So, Justin, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you all. Thank you. That concludes our post-game news conference. A transcript of the coaches' 